What's up everyone and welcome to Sunday with Ola88 Welcome, welcome, welcome Where do I put this? A little doomy intro for you right there Oh shit, that's scary That scares the fucking living shit out of me <laughs> Oh, that sucks I must say my hair looks fucking fabulous What a good Sunday everyone, even though it's Tuesday Alright guys, listen up Merch Hello, Chug Life Today only, listen up This t-shirt right here This t-shirt, Chug Life 10 euros from the website Hello Only today you can get one of these t-shirts for 10 euros Okay, so go to olaenglandshop.com Today, okay And not tomorrow, today it's 10 euros, okay Great deal, Chug Life forever man Fuck, how many claps? Hello How many hellos? Hello now, the reason we're running a special is because we've been uh, remodeling outside in the office to make a bigger printing room and warehouse for all the merch that we had. So, I haven't pushed the, uh, the merch at all because, uh, you know, we haven't been able to print that much. But now, we're up and running again. Make those assholes work. No, they're not assholes. They're, they're, they're my employees, <laughs> my friends and family. Holy shit. The news, everyone. I think the biggest piece of news in a good while that we've seen is that Gibson wins the Dean trademark infringement case So long story short, Dean Guitar has been making V's, E's and Colts I think, I think they're called the Colts uh, V-shaped guitars for 40 years Basically taking the shape of a Gibson V, putting it uh, on a Dean Guitar and having a Dean headstock, you know, with the he Like that little V headstock and now, 40 years later, Gibson steps up and be like, Hey man, that's not okay. That's copyright infringement of our trademark right there. Please cease and desist. They have been sending out a lot of cease and desist letters to a lot of brands. Just saying. Anyways, it has gone through a court and it says that yes, the trademark is still valid. The court ruled in Gibson's favor. Except that they were not to be paid out like 7 million dollars or something like that per trademark infringement No, they're gonna pay 4,000 per trademark infringement So it's, uh, I think it's like 3 or 2 miles So they have to pay like 16,000 dollars 16,000 dollars is not a lot If you compare it to the, you know, cost of lawyers and all that bullshit So it's, it's definitely not a win-win in this situation it's gonna be really interesting seeing how all of this will pan out in the future and with, you know, other brands You know, it's gonna be really interesting And it also, I would like to draw a parallel to what I talked about last week which was Dime Guitars Hello Camel, let's talk to this one for a while I look so sincere in this one So last week I talked about Dime Guitars being a thing and uh, I got some information now I saw on an Instagram post that uh, the Dimebag estate is waiting for 6th of June for another court ruling between Dean and the Dime Estate in regards of the Dime Bag guitar shapes, I think it's the D3, uh, the ML, uh, or and Razorback or whatever it is. You know, there's a lot of court rulings happening lately. How about that? So Gibson sued Dean for copyright infringement. It's kind of like the same thing between Dean and the Dime Estate. It's gonna be really interesting hearing how all of this pans out but I guess we won't really know for sure until uh, a couple of months or a couple of years basically So, very interesting Something else that was really interesting is that the Beast Rich Stranger Things Warlock is this year's gnarliest guitar collab So, have you watched Stranger Things, the new season? Me and Luis have been watching it This first seven episodes Oh my god It's great Obviously, it's great and amazing In one scene of the whole show, uh, the guy Eddie took, uh, he touched a BC Rich guitar and called it his baby Because of that small little scene, we can now have our own Stranger Things Hellfire Club and Boss neck plate, Stranger Things logo adorned control cavity cover on a BC Rich Looking like something straight from the upside down, the BC Rich Warlock would no doubt have been spotted by eagerly eyed eagerly, eagerly dogly a Stranger Things fan during the first episode of the show's new season as it took pride of place hanging on the wall of the new character Eddie Munson uh... Okay, look at that You can't look at that, you have to do like this There it is 
That's the worst f***ing uh, resolution I've seen in a good while. But it says Netflix Stranger Things on the back plate right there, that's cool. And the cool thing is that, and this is something I really like about BC Rich. I mean, if this was Fender or Gibson, it would be like, oh, made in Japan, made in US of A, and it would be like five grand to buy. No, they're releasing this guitar, it's $8.99. And it's a limited edition. You know, actually making it affordable for the people that are really big fans of Stranger Things. So I think this is a great thing. And they look f***ing sick, I must say. I mean, the Warlock, man. It's such a f***ing iconic shape right there. Slayer's Show No Mercy Minotaur has its own action figure now. Okay, Slayer's Minotaur from the cover of their 1983 record. Show No Mercy has its own action figure now thanks to Super 7. The figure stands 7 inch tall and comes packaged in a deluxe slip case style box. The figure also includes interchangeable heads, hands and of course a sword and a cape. Look at that. That looks uh, actually kind of cool if you're into action figures. I mean, look at this. Looks like a He-Man figure, if anything. 55 bucks, not too bad and not too shabby. 55 bucks. I I think I have to I have I think I have to get one. Estimated time of arrival and uh June 2023. So it's a fucking extra year. Oh, holy shit. Look at these. What? You have to wait 1 year for the show no mercy action figure, but look at this. Oh, Madingo. No, that's Voltron. Sorry. I thought that was uh, Madzinger Z. Anyways, if you want to show No Mercy Minotaur... Uh, Minot Minotaur? Minotaur. Yes, last but not least, earlier this year, they auctioned out Vinnie Paul's house for sale in Arlington, Texas. And it was purchased pretty, pretty fast by, uh, by an anonymous buyer. And uh, it got demolished immediately. Basically, this is what it looks like right now. There's no house left. Uh, which is incredibly sad, obviously. The Ride for Dime charity event promoted Derek D. Rock Walker made a post showing the, uh, the demolishing of Vinnie Paul's house and uh, saying, absolutely gut-wrenching and heartbreaking, this is what remains of the monument. This was Vinnie Paul's home in Arlington, Texas. Obviously, this is very, very sad, but worth saying is that Leal Winfield, the wife of Pantera producer Sterling Winfield, commented on Walker's photo saying that Paul's estate and home were handled to his wishes. Heartbreaking at times, but his stated terms she noted. Maybe this can help folks be a little kinder to those fulfilling his final wishes. So I read a couple of uh, other articles elsewhere saying that the house had foundation problems and other problems as well. So they would have to tear down the house anyways. It, it is incredibly sad, but at the end of the day, it was auctioned off to a buyer. The buyer owns the land. It was a pretty good spot up on a hill, it, it seemed. And, you know, they can do whatever they want. It's sad for the legacy, but yeah, that's how it is. And that, my friends, was the news. Hello. I'm sitting here at my beautiful office with these beautiful paintings right here. Ooh, hello. Now, in Adventures with Ola today, we've received a shit ton of new solar guitars and we need to take pictures of these guitars. So Luis and Joel has already started with this, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of the office as well because there's a lot of shit happening actually. Check this out. So as you can see, there's a lot of building happening. Basically what they're doing, they're uh, opening up the rooms over there. There's two rooms becoming one. So we have one for uh, the t-shirt production and all these our wares basically so we do that all in one spot it's gonna be great so they're working on that here's the dog hey poor day hold on yeah hey poor day hold on oh do so goodly do so let's head in here see how it's going look all our printing stuff is over here but don't worry about the uh the the, the chug life campaign we're gonna print them here okay that's that works too so we're entering the dark room Look at that. Here's Joel. Was that a cool guitar? Who knows? Cool secret guitar? No? It's super cool. And Louise here with the cameras. I'm trying to not show this. How's it going? Did you see any cool guitars yet? Um, They're kind of strange. 
Strange, what? Strange guitars, ooh. You'll know, you'll know. <laughs> so uh, how many guitars do you have left? Ooh, I have to check the list. So we are on guitar number six, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, so 17 new guitars. Check this out, here are the boxes. Da, 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 da. Exciting! So these are guitars we will make available in uh, starting now in June, I think, and then uh, up towards the autumn. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, at least something for every week or something for every other week. So it's going to be, you know, really exciting. Obviously, I can't show too much, uh, but they're working. You know, they're working really hard to get those pictures done already. But look at this, it's it's complete chaos here, man. I can't film it, I just want to film it here. Oh, you think it's cool, yeah. But... Do you want to be with? Do you want to be with? No, no, no. No, 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 okay. They really wanted to be on video, so there you go. <laughs> but there you go, very exciting. Uh, I'm also trying to learn this gimbal. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. Hey, Bordy Pixen. Hey, Bordy. Yo, do you go Oh, that's my crotch. Oh, oh well, uh, you get the idea. That's Adventures with Ola with Pix the dog. Me and uh, it's basically me not working. It's everyone else working. I'm just walking around here trying to figure out this gimbal. That's how it works. Actually, it works pretty good, I must say. Look at that. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie pie. So there you go, daily fix of pics also. Goodbye. Oh, you dangerous dog. Dangerous dog, dangerous dog. Dangerous dog. <laughs> album tip of the week right there. I've been listening to the new Ramstein album and you know, last week there was a new musical video. If you call it musical, there's a lot of tits in it. <laughs> But yeah, they released a new video for Dicke Titten, which big means uh, big natural resources. And uh, it's a great video, <laughs> just like a lot of other Ramstein videos. They do make incredible production in their videos. And uh, I've been listening to this album Sight for the past week. I must say, it's my favorite Ramstein album since Reise Reise. After Reise Reise, they kind of... They felt same, same a little bit, but the songs just weren't there. I feel with Sight that, you know, they've been nailing the songs. It's not anything new in particular to Rammstein, it sounds like Rammstein, but the songs are nailed, man. The songs are nailed. And obviously, I mean, if you like big natural resources of the female nature, this is a great video to watch. So, new Rammstein album, it's a banger, man. And there's a goat in the video too, how cute is that? Album tip. Hello. Question of the day from Nick Seitz. Hey Ola, I'm on the road a lot for work. Was just wondering if you ever record anything while traveling. If so, what gear and equipment do you use? That is a great and legit question. And yes, I have been writing a lot while I've been out on tour, especially when we've been out with the Haunted. You know, the Haunted doesn't live in the same cities, right? So we're kind of scattered out in Northern Europe. When we get to tour, we get to, you know, work together again. And that's a good a time for us to actually work on music because if you have like a tour and you stay at a hotel there's obviously like a couple of hours in between shows where you get time to sit down a little bit so personally i have been writing a lot uh on tour for instance like a song like preachers of death i kind of glue that together uh on a tour we had i don't know which tour was it maybe like a u.s tour or it was probably a european tour uh no it was in fact the tour we did with mashuga in i think it was in uk uh i remembered it so well because i was sitting at the hotel and i was you know trying to get that song together and uh yeah that's just how it is anyways when i do go out on tour i just bring a macbook like this this is a macbook air very uh, potent computer and a small interface much like this one like the UAD arrow is something I've been bringing along for a long time or Apogee even have, has a small little Apogee jam I think it's called so you can connect your guitar into that into your computer and that's it basically that and Logic Pro that's it and on the computer I also have you know 
one neural DSP plugin so I can have type of rhythm tone. I think back then I was using Easy Mix just to have a quick low processor heavy plugin and uh, a drum kit from Superior Drummer or drum kit uh, Easy Drummer 2, for instance, just to have something going so I can make a demo. And even for bass, I would just record a guitar acting as a bass and then, you know, pitch it down just to have something for a demo. So yeah, pretty easy. You know, you have your guitars with you anyways because you're on tour. Plug it in, record some shit on off hours. Uh, sometimes during tour, you're very tired as well. It's, it's a tough job being out on tour and traveling and playing a gig and being at the top of your game. So sometimes you just want to rest too. But if it's a long tour, you feel like, okay, maybe I have a wee hour here, I can do something. Let's write some music, baby. Thank you for the question. Whew. Oh! That was hot. Ola and Louise tasting shit. We're staying in Asia and right now we are where? Korea. In South Korea, probably. Maybe you saw me uh, go there and fill this whole noodle cup with water, boiling water. Just now, oh, three minutes. We have to set a timer. Two minutes, let's go. So we're gonna taste this last. Start with this. We have some uh, sweet potato snacks. Seaweed, oh, my favorite. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and what? Wh wh some apple juice, pear juice. Apple, pear. Or A just pear. Apple, pear, pear, pear nelson. Oh shit, I didn't see this, but this, there's braille up here in the lid. Okay. Maybe, I, I don't know why. Maybe it says drink here. Let's, let's open it. Fortunately for you guys, I'm not blind, so I don't have that. You know, I don't, I don't need that. Oh, there's, there's oh, things wow. in there. So fruit juice, real fruit juice. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's definitely a pear. A bit strange, but that was good. It works. It was good. I like that. Okay, seaweed or sweet potato? Sweet potato. <laughs> Look at this. Very cute little. Oh, it looks like he has a small uh, sweet potato boner. That is. Look of at course. that. Of course. Look at that. Oh shit! Okay. This uh, sweet uh, sweet potatoes look like this. Doesn't look like it because it's yellow. Oh, it's just potato, but sweet. Like flavored. Oh, it's Not potato sweet and it's sweet. Exactly. But that looks like a sweet potato. That looks like a sweet potato. With a sweet potato boner. Just saying. Tastes good. That was really good. It was sweet. Normally they are um, salty, but these are sweet. You know, I've had things like this in Asia mm -hmm. before as snacks, so it. Oh shit! Dinner's ready. Time for noodles. All right, so we have the noodles here. Noodle. I'm afraid it's gonna be. Really spicy. Okay, so this is these are uh, nongishim shin kimchi noodles. Did you hear about uh, the Korean uh, Michael Jackson? No. Kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're um, okay. famous for their kimchi. And for Michael Jackson. Ooh. Spicy. Kimchi. 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 Mm. Yes. Yes, it has that you know stingy kimchi stings. You know, kimchi is good for you, by the way. Just saying. Do you know why? Because it's fermented. Yeah, it's bacteria. Yes. Good bacteria. Good bacteria. Mmm, that's really nice. That is good. But it's too hot right now. Right now. Okay. Okay. Seaweed snacks, hot and tangy. Wasabi flavor. Whee! Oh, hello. It's one of these. <laughs> I thought it would be like peas, but no, it's it's actually seaweed like this. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you can fold something with that, like origami. <laughs> there you go. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go. Seaweed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened? Did you die? It tastes like a sushi. Yes, like fish. I think it's nice though. It's it's, it's like it's sushi. nice, but I just wasn't wasn't ready. I, there was like a wasabi sting. Yeah. But uh, maybe not a fan of seaweed like that. No. Just, uh, maybe it's just how they make it. You know, I like other types of seaweed. You know, the the ones that you come with. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's try the uh, the noodles now. Noodle. That's the bomb right there. That's good. That's a lot better than our instant noodles that we have here. I don't even think that kimchi is a flavor that we can get here, like a noodle flavor. 
It's really nice. That is really nice. It's spicy. But not too spicy. No. It's like I can um, live. I didn't she die. She can live. <laughs> there you go. Really that nice. was a that was a great taste. I mean, those Koreans, man, they know what's up. Yeah. You know, they're they're on the forefront. They're also famous for skincare products. Really? Yeah, they have really good skincare products. Oh shit! And also uh, seaweed. Yeah. You can put this on your face, <laughs> and it's uh, it's probably a really good like it probably helps. Just Maybe. saying. And they're also really good at squid games. <laughs> I yeah. heard. Yeah. So there you go, Ola and Louise tasting shit. Hiya. And that, my friends, what? Oh, okay, let's do this camera. And that, my friends, was Sunny with Ola, 88 right there. Remember, Chug Life T-shirt, 10 euros only today. Okay, you can get it today. Only, only today. And while you're at it, you can get other shit as well. Just saying. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Team No Sleep. You guys are amazing. I hope you're having a good time in the premiere chat. Who's gonna be last chat, huh? 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 Is it gonna be Eliza again? Huh? Saraga? Never? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.